back. One of my most memorable hunts is having the opportunity to hunt a Suleiman Markhor in Pakistan. The conservation story of Markhors is one that is a true success story because they were almost eradicated and because of some work of locals in Pakistan they were able to put a conservation group together and grow the population back out to a huntable population. Now that hunting is what plays the key part because that's the income that keeps the Markhor population growing. On this hunt we are hunting for Suleiman Markhor which is the smallest of the four subspecies of Markhor. Now traveling to hunt in Pakistan is always a little bit leery, at least from what everybody thinks. I've been fortunate enough to hunt in Pakistan for over 40 days and have never felt in danger at all. It's all about putting yourself in the right situation and going with the right people. Now on this hunt, we'd be literally hunting right on the Afghan border. So if you're talking about a sketchy area, this is it. We're on our way up to Atsulama Markor. It hadn't rained in this area in over a year. It's been raining pretty steady the last five days. So the road's completely muddy and it's been stuck in the way. One of the things I'll always remember about this hunt is once the weather rolled in and the rain started, we actually started up a fire right there on the side of the mountain with all the natives. And I'll always look back at that as one of those moments of just taking it all in for where you are and who you're hunting with. Mountain hunting, you never know what the weather's gonna be like. Today's an example. Blue skies and sunny about 30 minutes ago. That pitch black, a little bit of hail and rain coming right now. It's hunkered down in this rock as tight as we can get and ride it out. Once the fog finally cleared, we were able to hunt on. It didn't take very long before we finally glassed up a shooter and we were able to stalk in. Mark and his team search every nook and cranny for this elusive creature. Their vigilance and perseverance is finally beginning to pay off. One of the guides spots movement on a distant hillside. It's the Markhor they've been searching for. Mark's moment of truth is arriving as he sights in the target of his dreams. Thank you. Walking up on the animal, the first thing I realized is just how iconic and epic this animal looks. Having seen pictures and video before, didn't do it justice of actually being able to see it in person. They're so unique and so different from any species that there is in the world, and finally being able to see one up close is something I'll remember for the rest of my life. ladder. Aaron grabbed his phone. <laughs> ladder died. He went right into the ping pong table. <laughs> I did see a little Nerf uh, bullet up there. Oh yeah. Well, we get in some pretty epic Nerf battles around here. 